Now the next feature that I want to talk about in Postgres 18 is that of virtual generated columns. So let's first start off with uh, what are generated columns. These are automatic values in your table that are based on other columns in your row. Now the way that you would write a virtual generated column is you would do your add column generated as and then whatever your, your value is. Um, and if you wanted it stored, you would just add stored to the end. So an example of this might be adding the area if you have the length and the width and you would just define it and then you're, you're there. Um, in doing other calculations, of course, another example might be classification. So if you classify items based on uh, a value. The virtual part of that is that these columns, these values are not stored to disk. They're calculated. So they would be calculated each time. And that is where you start to think about how you would use these. If you do want to maybe simplify your code base, remove some of the complexity of, of calculating values from your application layer to the database layer so it can be reused by multiple apps so in most cases you're not going to actually take a hit in performance but there are some really expensive queries any anything that's doing like i probably wouldn't use this with something like vector search um, but maybe you could use a regular search for it that being said we have a, a couple of use cases and when to use and when not to use on the ivan blog so go check that out uh, and be sure to subscribe for more uh, tips and tricks as we continue to explore through Postgres 18.